Planned Parenthood affiliate in Keystone, Pennsylvania made big news this week when they tweeted out a series of requests. What we need, these tweets, these tweets said, is a Disney princess who's had an abortion. We need a Disney princess who's transgender. We need a Disney princess who's an undocumented immigrant, in other words, an illegal alien. So what, what happened here, and this made national news, they actually pulled the tweets down pretty quickly. What they're arguing here is that Princesses are bad, liberals say. The idea of princesses for little girls is horrible. We shouldn't let little girls dress as princesses for Halloween because it freezes them in gender roles. Princesses are bad unless you have the progressive princess. So a, an aborto-friendly princess, and we've got a little meme mock-up for you. We could even call her Dismembria. Maybe she even works at Planned Parenthood. Maybe she's even performed an abortion on herself. How much more hip and progressive a feminist princess can you get? Well, what's happening here is pretty predictable. The American left has realized that they can't get rid of our cultural icons. Little girls love to be princesses. Now, Christianity is still a popular religion in this country, overwhelmingly so. So rather than urge the banning of these things, as they tried to do with fairy tale princesses for a long time, they've simply co-opted them and emptied out the meaning of these fairy tales and reinvested it with progressive ideology. Take, for instance, uh, uh, the, the brouhaha a couple of years ago when Frozen 2 was in the works, so the, the movie about the ice queen princess, right? The young princess who was a queen of the ice, more or less. Well, in the reboot, the second version, which is under production right now, all sorts of lesbian and gay groups, all Planned Parenthood, they, they lobbied the producers of the new movie. Uh, to give Elsa a lesbian girlfriend, right? So princesses are okay if they are lesbians. We don't want our princesses falling in love with charming princes, but if they are lesbian princes, we're all for it. The question is begged, though. If you have two lesbians marrying in the new Frozen movie, who's going to perform the abortion? Uh, and uh, even in, in, in our religion as well, uh, just this week, Professor, uh, professor Liu, who's professor of New Testament studies at Holy Cross, a theoretically uh, Catholic university, came out this week with a new book arguing that Jesus was a drag king with queer desire. The idea that Jesus was sexually ambivalent, he had queer thoughts and feelings, he liked to dress up, uh, he was in many ways sexually confused, that's all the rage now. And Professor Liu is getting all sorts of kudos at Holy Cross for uh, broadening our view of Christianity. And you see what's happening here. You couldn't get rid of Christianity, you couldn't ban it, you couldn't outlaw it, you couldn't make it tragically unfashionable. What you did instead was keep it, but just queer it. This is the new tactic of the American left, and we have to fight it. It worked in the Soviet Union. It's worked in all uh, fascist and communist states. Take existing mythology, take existing, myth, uh, existing religious belief, empty it, fill it with liberal values, and see if you can do people that way. We're too smart to fall for it. We're not going to let it happen.